What's going on guys? Hunter here with Goodman Lawn Care. Hope you're having a great day. No, I am. We've been doing some leaf cleanups today. A bunch of them, I mean. Uh, I don't even know how many jobs we did today. Probably did three or four jobs. Uh, some of them pretty good size and some of them pretty small. Um, but we got them done and everything and I had to trim some crepe myrtles today. And uh, I used this new little tool here to trim the crepe myrtles. Uh, you've already seen it by the thumbnail. It's the Hotichi chainsaw there. So. It's only 150 dollars you pick it up on amazon and uh i'm gonna do a little quick little review and rundown of it uh but if you're new to the channel you need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that like button if you like this video and uh i'm gonna roll the intro and we'll get into it So I'm gonna attempt to clip this camera here. All right, so this is the Hotichi chainsaw with a 10 inch bar on it. And it is a 25 cc saw, really, really good saw. Uh, I bought it off Amazon. Like I said, it's on $150. And I use this to cut hedges in half and to trim crepe myrtles and any other small projects. This is what it's for, it's what I use it for. The reason I bought it mainly is because when I'm cutting hedges in half, I'm using my 550 and uh, my Husqvarna 550. And uh, that's a great saw. It's a really, really great saw, but it's kind of bulky when you're doing the kind of stuff I'm doing, like cutting hedges in half. And uh, with this saw, what it allows me to do is it's a top handle so I can hold it with one hand. I can grab the limb here and cut that way and then toss it out, cut, toss it out and it's a lot faster. So that's the reason I bought this. That's what I've used it for. I've used it a couple times. I got some clips in a minute, I'll show you. Uh, I love it, love it, love it, great saw. And uh, it's one of my new favorite tools that I have on the truck and everything. And that's another thing I love about it is, see, I can slot it right in to these uh, compartments and stuff. And it fits right in there just perfect and everything. And uh, I'm, I keep it in that uh, box right up there on the, in the back of the bed i'll show you in a minute but that's where i keep all my saws but um the compactability of this saw is just phenomenal uh, i love how you can it's so small you can put it anywhere you can hold it easy it only weighs the dry weight of it with no gas or oil in it is eight pounds so uh for a climber saw it's a little bit on the heavier side but for you know landscaper lawn care guy uh this is a pretty light saw considering you know a normal chainsaw weighs about uh anywhere from 12 to you know even 20 pounds sometimes this is a great little saw just to keep in the truck and uh got it when you need it so i'm gonna go ahead and show you some how to run it and everything and uh show you a little bit about it so right here is the on and off switch right there uh that's on that's off and then this is the choke this is a little different most uh chainsaws chokes are not right here they're uh normally on the side or or somewhere like that but it's on the back right there and uh i'm assuming this is going to be your air filter and stuff back in here uh but i'm not real sure i hadn't really opened it up and like looked at it or anything i didn't i didn't want it to you know just come apart or whatever but this is your priming bubble right there um this thing i'm gonna tell you you don't have to press that very many times to get this thing running you only have to press that maybe three times on a cold start and then it normally cranks right up and you let it run and then you it's good to go and then uh this is your pull start right there and uh, of course your your triggers right there and to pull the trigger you have to push that down and do it but normally you keep your hand and just do it like that and so um one thing there's a couple there's two things that i don't like about this saw and uh, i'm gonna tell you about them real quick so first of all my only con this is one of my concerns this is the gas and that's the oil so on a normal chainsaw like and i don't know if all climber saws are like this or not but uh i know this one is but on a regular chainsaw like just a standard chainsaw not a climber saw your oil is in the front and your gas is back here um uh, i don't like that they're right here because if you're in a hurry it'd be real easy to put your oil in here and your gas in there and have it screwed up and then being a mess you know and it wondering why it wouldn't crank and all this and that and so um i don't really like that so what i'm eventually probably going to do and i hadn't really decided what i'm going to do for sure but is paint them two different colors and remember which one is which which then i'm back to the same thing if you get in a hurry you might you know whatever but i don't really like that so 
you always have to pay attention when you're putting your gas and oil in there that way you don't get mixed up and uh you know slip swap them so another thing this is my honestly probably one of my biggest concerns about the saw so on a normal chainsaw i wish i had my 550 here to show you normally the only thing that comes off is this plate right here just from right there to right there is normally only comes off normally it has two screws and you just pull it off with this saw this whole piece all the way up to this thing right here comes off and the reason i don't like that is because it's got little clips in the back that have to snap in there and it's even got some clips that have to snap in the top and then you have to line everything up while holding the bar and it's just kind of it's just kind of tricky it's it can be done i did it a couple times but it's just not as simple as throwing on two bolts and putting the cap back on it's just it's just not that easy but um that is that's another thing i just really don't like about it but you know none of it's major stuff as far as the running quality of the saw and the uh capabilities and stuff you can use do with it it's it's phenomenal i mean i'm like i said i'm not a tree guy i'm a grass guy lawn care landscaper for me this tool does everything i need it to do and uh so you know i don't know what that means to you but for the lawn care landscaper guy somebody that's going down to the deer camp somebody that's going uh just want something to keep in their saw to trim a couple of limbs here and there or even just for a homeowner's use i mean just to trim in, limbs around your house or if you're cutting bushes and stuff at your house this is a good little saw just to you know be able to grab with one hand and just go with it so of course it does have this thing right here if you need to really put some grip into it there you got it um but you know that's about it with a saw and it does have a uh, a lock there that's another thing i kind of don't like about it is it's kind of it's kind of hard to do it's not extremely hard but you have to kind of put some force to it to get it to go but overall i mean it's a simple saw it works great runs good as far as longevity of it i don't know how long it's going to last um because like i said it is a hotichi it's not a steel it's not a husqvarna it's not you know an echo it's not a name brand saw it's a hotichi obviously a chinese made um so to be honest with you i don't know how long it's going to last but in my opinion and this is just the way i feel about it how i feel about it if it lasts me a solid year for 150 bucks that's that's i've got my money's worth out of it i've already made my money back on this saw within a couple of weeks i mean i've had enough work where i've, I've been able to just pay it off um it's already i've already made my money back on it within a couple of weeks so uh this is a great quality saw for 150 dollars, i think and uh like i said if it lasts me a year i'm happy with it a lot of people want to go ahead and spend a little extra money and buy you know the steel or husqvarna or the echo or something like that but um for me, just a long care landscaper, for me, I'm going to be using this saw and a lot more rougher stuff. I'm just, just using it to just kind of a backup saw just to knock around, just to, you know, grab it real quick, cut something real quick, you know, whatever. It's a great saw for me, but, you know, some people don't like it, and that's understandable. And uh, so, like, with my lawn care stuff, I always go and buy the, the steel and uh, all the steel stuff and all the X mark stuff. Uh, I try to get the best there is to run because uh, I'm using it on a daily basis. But this saw, I'm not going to be using it on a daily basis. It's just going to be here and there and on some small jobs and stuff. So for what I'm using it for, it works for me. And uh, that's really about all I got. So um, show you the other side of it. it. Tells you like the kind of the specs there. And uh, that's your little nut that to, to take it off to get this off to fix the bar and chain or whatever. And um, it did come with uh, this cover and it came with the uh, sharpening file which is real nice a lot of saws don't come with that um, came with a sharpening file and then it came with a little tool to uh, the little scrunch to get that off and everything so I mean like I said for 150 bucks it's a great saw uh, longevity I don't know how long it's gonna last but um, you can't expect a whole lot for 150 bucks but you know is he like I said you'll get your money back money's worth out of it You'll make your money back with it if you're a lawn care landscaper guy or using it in the service business you'll make your money back you don't have to worry about that um but that's really about it so i'll give you a little close-up view of it here hotichi bar and i'm not sure um you know what bar this actually is because you know a lot of companies will get another company to make the bar 
and then just put their logo on it. So this might be, I don't want to say an Oregon bar, uh, but it could be something like that. You know, it could be a, a different brand bar and they just put Hotichi on there. Just a, just a thought there. And, uh, but like I said, this is a great little saw just to have. And you know, you can pick it up with one hand and just use it however you need to. And so, um, but there you go. You can tell I've been using it. Got some stuff all over it and everything. But, and see, there's your climber's hook. If you're a climber saw, you just hook your, if you're a climber or tree work or anything, you just clip your lanyard on right there and put it on you and just go with it. And for the gas and oil, I didn't know if I mentioned this or not, but it does have little labels, like, you know, the gas and the oil, but they're kind of hard to see if the sun was shining on it or if you're in a hurry. I mean, you're not going to be paying attention that close to it. So, uh, but it does have it on there. But, so I wanted to show you a quick size comparison between uh the 550 and the hotichi so um uh, that, that rhymes but anyway so the whole power head of the 550 xp is just about uh it's within i'd say two or three inches of being the same size as this whole saw so of course this has a 10 inch bar on it. i'm sure you could put a longer bar on there if you wanted to but for me 10 inch is all I need. Uh, and then this is a 20 inch bar on there. So let's stick that on there. All right, so this whole saw and everything is close to 20 inches uh, long. It's probably about 21, 22 inches long from front to back. Uh, but I brought out my Husqvarna just to kind of show you a size comparison because it's kind of hard to tell on camera without seeing another saw beside it. So, but, uh, but there you go. So far, I've used this saw to uh, trim tree limbs with trim crepe myrtles to cut up small pieces of firewood uh cut hedges in half i've used it for everything and then i went over there to my wood pile I don't even you can't even see it uh, but i got a wood pile over there and uh, i've cut some you know pretty big stuff with it 12 inch uh, of course it's only a 10 inch bar on it so you have to kind of work around it but it's a good running saw uh for what it is and uh for 150 bucks and i gave you a real honest review on it that's my honest thoughts on it so uh, i'll link it down below in my amazon affiliate so you can check it out uh, go pick it up real easy my dog's having a panic attack over there sneezing and uh acting like an idiot anyway there it is that's the saw it's my latest tool I bought, and uh i'm telling you i love it i really do so appreciate y'all watching oh i forgot forgot i'm going to put the clips after my after i'm gonna do a good do my outro and then i'll put the clips of me using it and everything so you can see it in action see how it runs and everything appreciate you watching hope you enjoyed it remember to like subscribe and i'll see you later <laughs>
And uh, so I always like to do what the homeowner tells me. I don't want to recommend, uh, you know, something that they don't want. And I'll, I always do recommend things, but if they want to do if that if ultimately that's what they want to do, uh, you know, this is what we're going to do. So uh, that's what we're, that's what we did. They wanted to cut them in half. So that's what we're doing. And uh, so I do have some, a job coming up where we are going to rip up some shrubs. And uh, so maybe I'll film that and you'll get to see us do that with a tractor and everything. Uh, but so anyway, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked this, uh, this video and everything, these type of reviews. I'm never really good at them, but uh, I've tried my best. And uh, so if you have any questions about this saw, uh, my Amazon link is down below and you can go check that out. Amazon reviews and the stuff on there you can check out, look at. And uh, you can also email me if you have any questions about it or something like that. Um, and also it'll be, like I said, it'll be linked down below in my description. And I have uh, two Amazon stores, one for my camera gear and one for my just gear and equipment that I use on a daily, uh, weekly basis or whatever. And uh, I have all that in there. So anything from leaf blowers to uh, rakes to ice makers and you know all kinds of stuff down there below that I use. You can go check that out. And uh, so I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see y'all later.